Have you ever watched a footballer play and immediately gone, how are they playing for this club? Well, we do that loads of times, so we've decided to make a video about it. These are 15 players who are just too good for their current clubs. You might find your favorite club on this list, but don't take it personally. But before we get to the video, we need your verdict on a debate. Would you say Jadon Sancho and Kylian Mbappe are too good for Man United and PSG respectively? Give us your answers in the comments. Now to the list. We start off with Bruno Fernandes. It's not hard to tell that the Portuguese maestro is too good for Manchester United. This is a guy who would walk into almost every midfield in the world, but is currently wasting his prime years at Man United who can't compete on any real level. The least he deserves is to be playing for a Champions League team that will always compete for silverware. He's just too good for Man United. Cole Palmer as well is too good for Chelsea. Yes, it might feel like it's too early to say this as he has just had one good season, but hey, that was not just any good season, was it? To have an amazing campaign like that in your first ever pro season is truly something. For those who don't know, Cole Palmer finished with the most goal contributions in the entire Premier League this season. Yes, more than Harlan, Saka, Foden or anyone else. That boy is a superstar and don't forget, he's already 22. His mates, Bellingham, Haaland, Wirtz, Saka, Foden will be competing in the Champions League and for their respective league titles next season while Palmer doesn't even know who his coach is going to be. For example, look at Havertz. We all thought he was bad because of his time at Chelsea, but as it turns out, he was just too good for the club. So no, it's not crazy to say that Cole Palmer is too good for Chelsea. It's also not crazy to say that Rafael Leao is too good for AC Milan. Yes, Milan are great and have incredible history, but right now, they're not where they should be. Yes, they won the league in 22, but what has happened since then? They finished 20 points off the top in 2023 and 19 points off the top this season. They even finished third in their Champions League group as well this campaign. Leao deserves better than that. A baller that talented deserves to be competing for all the trophies every season and should also be surrounded by the very best players. It's kind of the same reason we will say that both Eberechi Eze and Michael Olise are too good for their current clubs. Big shout out to Oliver Glasner and what he's been able to do in his time at Crystal Palace, but the truth still remains that those two boys were made for bigger things. Everybody knew that even before Glasner moved over. After all, Olise and Eze have been targets for big clubs around Europe for some time now. Everybody knows how good they are. Ironically, we actually want Palace to keep them this season. It would be interesting to see what Glasner can cook up if he has them for one full season. But the truth still remains that they're too good for a mid-table, sometimes relegation-threatened club. Speaking of relegation-threatened clubs, makes us remember the miracles that Unai Emery performed with Aston Villa, from fighting for relegation to qualifying for the Champions League. No doubt, it is great, but it certainly doesn't change the fact that Emi Martinez is too good for the club. We're talking about FIFA's the best men's goalkeeper, Yashin Trophy, World Cup and World Cup Golden Glove winner. I mean, you could even argue that he's a better shot stopper than the number one goalkeepers of Barca, Atleti and even Man City, but he's playing for Aston Villa. Once again, Emery has done an amazing job there, but Dibu is still too good for Villa and we're sure even the fans know it. And it's pretty much the same story for Sergio Gerasi. Stuttgart have done amazing things this season to go from relegation playoffs to qualifying for the Champions League and even finishing second in the Bundesliga in one year is an insane achievement. And once again, we wish they'd keep Guarassi, but the truth is that the centre forward is too good for Stuttgart. This guy literally finished with more league goals than Haaland while playing fewer games. Remember he was away for the AFCON in January and also struggled with injuries. You can certainly see Guarassi walking into teams like Arsenal, PSG, Atletico Madrid and Liverpool. That's how good he is. Definitely too good for Stuttgart. Speaking of strikers who are too good for their current clubs reminds us of Victor Gjokerez. He too has outscored Haaland this season, 58 goal contributions in 49 appearances anyone? The least he deserves is to be playing for a top club in the top 5 European league. And you know what? We're pretty confident that will be the case by next season. With the number of clubs who are chasing his signature, Gjokerez will almost certainly be playing for a big club next time out. And he deserves it because he's way too good for sporting CP. There's also the pair of Mohamed Kudus and Jared Bowen who are certainly too good for West Ham. In the last three seasons, Bowen has had two seasons where he finished with 20 plus goal contributions. 
Kudus, meanwhile, is the best dribbler in Europe. He was the first player to complete 100 take-ons this season in Europe's top five leagues. He holds the record for the most take-ons completed in the single area Divisi season and was also one of the top XG over performers in the Premier League. Need we say more? These guys are just too good for West Ham and we believe it won't be long before they follow in the footsteps of Captain Declan Rice and leave the club for an upgrade. You know who else will be leaving their club for an upgrade? Lenny Yoro. He's one of the best young players in world football right now and he is certainly destined for greatness. Lille is always a good stepping stone for sure but at this point in his career, Yoro is surely better than the club. He has links to the likes of Real Madrid, PSG and Liverpool telling the entire entire story. Even the pros think he's too good for Lille. Up next is the Portuguese pair, João Neves and Pedro Neto. João Neves is one of the most highly rated teenagers in world football. He's valued at around £100 million and he's a target for some of the biggest clubs in the world. That alone should tell you that he's bigger than Benfica. Meanwhile, Pedro Neto is a top, top talent who deserves more than to be playing for a relegation-threatened Premier League club. He's one of the best pure wingers in the world, fast, skillful and very creative. He didn't play too many games this season because of injuries, but he still managed 14 goal contributions in 24 appearances. Do you know how impressive it is to produce those numbers while playing for a club placed 14th in the league? To give you some context, Ousmane Dembele managed 19 goal contributions in nearly double the number of games that Neto played this season while being surrounded by much better players. Let's now wrap up with the Nigerian pair of Victor Osiman and Ademola Lukman. Last season, Napoli and Osiman were a match made in heaven, but they've seriously crashed now, so it's not so crazy to say that he's too good for them now. Napoli are about to miss out on European football after winning the Scudetto last season. Osiman, who's one of the best strikers in the world, deserves to be playing in the Champions League every year. He's so good that, despite Napoli's horrible form, his injury, and absence because of AFCON, he still managed 21 goal contributions in 31 appearances. The quality, no doubt, is there, and we're sure he'll earn a big move this summer. As for Lukman, when you're the first ever footballer to score a hat-trick in a one-legged Europa League final, you surely deserve to be playing for a top club, and we won't just reduce him to that one match. He's finished with 23 goal contributions in two seasons in a row now. That is a good attacker. His former teammate, Rasmus Hoyland, had 23 goal contributions in more appearances last season and earned a 74 million euro move to Man United. So certainly, Lukman, who has won Atalanta only the second trophy in their history, deserves a big move as well. Anyway, those are 15 players who are better than their current clubs, and it goes without saying, we meant no disrespect to any of the teams mentioned, it's just what it is. There are certainly more players who are better than their current clubs, so keep the list going in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.